Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot. And today we're gonna have a look at your singles reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome, how are you guys? And I'm very excited about what's going to come for you. Wow, everything looks fantastic so far. So, this is a free general reading, Leo. Some of the messages might resonate with you, some of them might not. If you feel like you need any more messages, please make sure to check out your other placements, especially your moon, your Venus, and your rising sign. And I do have a pick a card reading, a singles pick a card reading coming up. So if you are interested in that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, right? So I do have a very amazing reading here, guys beautiful energies and at the bottom of the deck we do have the nine of swords in reverse and I do see you with the seven of swords the moon in reverse and the four of cups that in your recent past or maybe it happened quite some time ago there was something coming out something coming to light um, maybe you ha you had been dealing with a Pisces um, maybe there was some deception going on and I do feel like you stepped away from this situation and for quite some time I feel like you didn't want to you know date or go out or accept any kind of romantic offer but with the four of cups in reverse I feel like this energy is really changing we do have the ace of wands and the page of cups and the hanged one in reverse so I do feel like if there was a stock energy a stock feeling regarding your love life Things are changing. There's a passionate new start coming in here. Fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. I do have the Page of Cups. So I feel like there's just like this feeling of being in love again, fresh energy, a new person maybe. And I do see the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups and Temperance. Wow. So I do feel like you are the Queen of Pentacles at the moment. You don't have to be a female watching but you just have this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? So I do feel like you want something committed, you want something steady, some stability in your next relationship, and you have a very nurturing energy around you. And I do see working on yourself, on your abundance, Leo, and there is something beautiful coming. We do have the King of Cups, look at this. I am a huge fan of the King of Cups. That might be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming in for you, Leo. A very mature person, and I do see you've grown too. You have the Queen energy here, and I do see a very beautiful couple here, okay? It doesn't have to be a male-female combination. Everyone is included in my readings. It's just the energies, and Tarot is working with masculine and feminine energies, right? So there might be a Sagittarius with a lot of water placements coming where a water sign with a major Sagittarius placement doesn't have to be. What I do see is that this might be a soulmate connection and a very balanced energy around this connection, okay? Yes, so um, it could be that this person is going to, you know, offer you their love, their emotions, showing you them first. And I feel like with this person, love will feel easygoing, like being in love again for the first time. Very innocent energy here, beautiful. Okay, so now let's check some oracle cards for you, Leo. First of all, we're going to check the Island Time and Wellness Love Oracle cards. Energies for my Leos out there, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Singles. For this beautiful reading, this beautiful connection coming. Wow, okay, they're popping out now. Let's see. Let's see what we have and let's see if we need some more cards. So, we do have, yes. Ooh, wow, guys. Okay, so let's start with this card. It's not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So this might have been an issue in the past here with this person, with this situation I see. And we do have both. Um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. And I also see the butterfly. 
relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So I do feel like for most of you, you've been, you know, leaving this situation behind. You've been moving on from this past situation. And with the butterfly, I feel like more that you have evolved, that you have grown after this situation here, okay? And then girl talk popped out. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having a fun. And that's the best thing you can do. It's just be in love with yourself, you know, in a healthy way, having fun and love will come to you. Okay, so that's my opinion. It's just my opinion. Now, we do have amazing energies. Look at this. We have the palm tree and I love this one. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. And we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And then we have engagement rings and twin flames. Twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other, and the engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Wow, so I do see a very strong bond. You might be dealing with a twin flame. And we also have the butterfly, right? We do have um, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and the twin flame. So for some of you, you're going to meet your twin flame for the first time. For others of you, this could be the next phase of the twin flame situation. Let's check some Romans Angel Oracle cards for you, Leo. Energies for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. For my singles out there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to check these cards for you. Oh, yes. I really, really love that. Look at this. We do have soulmate again. Yes, this is your soulmate. And we do have engagement again. Wow. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So we do have engagement two times. We do have the twin flames. We do have the soulmate. And we do have the temperance. Don't forget about that. So then we have the card trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So what I do feel here with heart-to-heart -heart conversations and give your relationship a chance and trust is that for some of you, you really might be dealing with your twin flame after separation phase. Um, if you don't know the difference, sometimes I get the questions in the comments. I am not an expert about twin flames, you know, I do know a good amount of it, but um, if you are interested in that, if you don't know the difference between a soulmate and a twin flame, I really recommend you to check out some videos on YouTube. There are a lot of beautiful videos about these topics. So. I do feel like for some of you, Leo, you, be, you are going to deal with a twin flame, the next chapter. And for others of you, there is a soulmate connection coming in, okay? Definitely, guys. Beautiful. Such a beautiful singles reading, Leo. If And, and there's committed energy. I wanted to say that. Two times engagement. Yes, I do feel like there is very committed energy. Um, this could be, you know, the person you're going to marry, all right? So, if you want to send some love back to me and support me and support my channel, you can do that by leaving a thumbs up. You can leave a comment. And of course, I would be happy if you'd subscribe to my channel. And I see you next time, guys. Bye, take care, love y'all.